Welcome back. I always enjoy the time that I spend with Lisa in and Bakken 25 again because she always has a good story to tell. We have a couple of members with us again today. We have Tim and Jenny Martin with us, and I think you're going to enjoy their story. I've had a little bit of time to get to know them a little bit, and you're going to have time to get to know them as well. Before we do that, though, let's talk to Lisa in and Bakken 25 again. You guys are very successful in this community, like you said. If you haven't heard about 25 again, then you don't <laughs> you live, be right living under a rock. You can't even go to the Yum Center or to the bathroom and not hear about us. Exactly, see us. <laughs> exactly. But the reason is, is because you're making a difference in people's lives. Like Absolutely. So right yeah. I mean, if you want to have energy to go to the levee at New Year's, then yeah. come on in. You'll, you, we can get you going just like that. There you go. But you know, we uh, it, we used to be Body Shapes Medical, and we changed the name to 25 again because it made sense. As you age, your hormone levels will go down. There's absolutely nothing that you can do about it. People always think, oh my gosh, I'm in shape. I'm doing the right things. I don't have diabetes. I have no health concerns. My doctor says my levels are fine. And I just chuckle. Your levels are not optimal. What is happening is those levels are going down as you age, and that's not healthy. That is what's going to set you up for future illnesses, age-related illnesses, such as cancer, Alzheimer's, high blood pressure, diabetes. These are the things that you start to see as we age, and studies have proven over and over again it's because of low hormone levels. There is absolutely no doubt about it. Now, most people don't come to us and go, I want to prevent these diseases because uh, I feel great, but I want to prevent them. They come to us because they're not sleeping through the night. That's one of the main ones. Their energy levels are low. Uh, their, their metabolism has changed. I'm doing all the things that I used to do when I was younger and I still can't lose a pound. All these things are just to change. Dry skin, uh, stress, mood changes, um, hot flashes. Both men and women, believe it or not, can have hot flashes. Weight gain, that energy, that muscle tone. You're working out again. It's just not producing the same results as it did when you were 25. So if you think about a 25 year old, you don't think about someone who has Alzheimer's or high blood pressure or cancer. My mom died of ovarian cancer back in 2001, unfortunately. I was a NICU nurse, I knew nothing about hormones, but as I started to age and I realized that I wanted to prevent disease in my family and myself, I started to learn more and more about hormones and bioidentically. It prevents heart disease, diabetes, you see the list there, cancer, depression even. I was on some depression medication and was able to come off of all that. So my story I've been telling over and over again, so I love to bring on members and they can tell their story because everyone's story is unique and different. So that's why we brought Tim and Jenny here today and we're gonna let them talk about their story. Yeah, although they're a married <laughs> couple and you guys seem like you're newly married because you're very happy together, <laughs> which is nice to see. And so I'll start, I, I think your stories are very individual, but you're going through this experience together. So Tim, from what I understand, you were the first to visit 25 again, right? That's correct. Okay, what, what kind of symptoms were you feeling? Uh, when I got in my mid 40s, um, energy level dropped, um, body fat increased, uh, those were my two main symptoms that I was having. Yeah, and, and it's it's sometimes, as you say, Lisa, it's, it's not your fault. No. I mean, you're probably working out, watching your diet, but it's just when your hormones, there's nothing you can do about your hormones and when they decline mm -hmm. and, and quit producing. So you noticed some changes in yourself and you thought, okay, maybe this is for me. So what kind of response or, or let's just say what kind of results have you received? Uh, I noticed within about three months, energy level picked back up. I used to sleep four or five hours. Mm -hmm. I'm back to sleeping four or five hours. That's enough for me. Uh, feel good. Less uh, joint aches and pains. Good. Feel so a lot better. This is all positive. So That is correct. So, Jenny, now from what I understand, you saw him receiving positive results. He noticed some quote unquote symptoms, right? <laughs> is that okay? I'm trying to yeah, tread lightly here. Be careful. Be very careful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and when I say that, it's not bad. You just you weren't sleeping well, not which, which well. can change anyone's mood. If you don't sleep well, there's sleep. nothing like it. So tell me a little bit about what you were feeling. Well, night sweats were terrible. And um, I really could not, I couldn't get to sleep and I couldn't maintain sleep. And so then when, by the time I woke up in the, the next morning, I was exhausted and you just start the whole day again. And even the biggest thing for me was, I don't really have that terribly busy of a day now. And so I couldn't understand why I just couldn't make it through. And then I'd go back to bed again at night and break out in a sweat. And it was a vicious cycle. It was just terrible. Yeah, so you with Tim's urging, you said, you said check, right? You, you mm -hmm. was, it was gentle. It was, it like, was. Well, I just want to take a look, see. You right? said, sure. just go check your, your levels, just see what they are. And? And they were abysmal, really. One of my levels was way off the chart high, and one of my levels was almost non existent. Um, and so we have gotten all of that in sync. And I mean, the first night, the first night, I noticed a difference. The very wow. first night. Oh, now it didn't. It wasn't perfect from then on out, but it has gotten back to where 
what is normal, and I can go to sleep at night and sleep peacefully until seven o'clock the next morning, and I wake up refreshed. refreshed. Okay, so this this story is is not unusual. Yeah. Lisa, you have told me before. <laughs> believe me, Lisa lets me know. Women are a lot more complex than men. She tells me all the time. <laughs> I do understand that. So it does take a little bit of tweaking, and everyone's different. Mm -hmm. So th with all due respect for that, you look at an entire blood panel panel, and you will find that everyone is different. In her <clears> case, <throat> like she said, some levels here, some right. levels here. And she said, but she felt better immediately, but now as it's been tweaking, it's, it's continued improvement, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely. T tell me a little bit about how her story is no different than anyone else's, that, that it is all individual, right? It is. I mean, there's, you know, we get three pages of labs. And first of all, if you come in and, and you're not battling weight or diabetes or high blood pressure or any of these other age-related diseases, then it's a little bit easier to kind of get those levels exactly where we want them. If you do have weight to lose, of course, that's something that we want to address. People come to me all the time and or are out all the time and say, I need to lose weight. I need to come to you. And I'm like, no, if you're over 35, you need to come to me no matter what. But, you know, we'll talk about that. But again, it's three pages of labs. We want to make sure, talking about safety with the guns, we want to make sure we're safe with your body. Uh, you know, sometimes there are people that come in and they're not candidates. It's very rare that there are contraindications and you can't get started with hormones, but we do it bioidentically. And by bioidentically, I mean we match molecule for molecule in a compound pharmacy that it matches with your body so that you don't reject it over time. If you're lucky enough to where you have a physician that says, oh yeah, your levels are a little on the low side, I'm going to give you some hormones, more than likely you're going to get something synthetic. What synthetic means is it horse urine or it's made from some other kind of product where it's not matched. So they only put you on it for about a year or two and then you have to come off of it. Well, guess what? Your symptoms are gone for a year or two and then they come back. But we don't want to put you back on that because it does cause cancers and mm -hmm. these other diseases that we don't want. And that actually has been proven too. So everything we do is bioidentical. As John says, we do three pages of labs. We look at everything for everyone. I was talking to Tim earlier and he said that, you know, there was one that he couldn't tolerate and that does happen. Uh, DHEA we look at, vitamin D3, which is both the vitamin and a hormone. Thyroid, that's very important. Thyroid is so, so complex. Everybody's so, so different when it comes to it. You know, some levels are, uh, can be really low, some can be really high, and we have to tweak those and we have to be very, very careful with it. When you go to your physician, we, I don't know how many people come to us and say, my thyroid, my physician said was fine. They're only looking at inactive thyroid, which is your TSH. What we look at is TSH, T4, and T3. T3 is your active thyroid. If your active thyroid isn't high enough, you are not going to get rid of the symptoms that, that look like low thyroid. Dry skin, metabolism not working right, it can be related to blood pressure, it can be related to your mood and depression. There's so many things that go along with thyroid. There are so many members that come in and just promise us that their thyroid's fine and we just we just giggle because they don't look at everything like we do and I'm not sure if you guys if that was the case for you or not but again people are banging their heads against the wall because they're like I have all these thyroid symptoms but my doctor keeps telling me it's normal I can guarantee you it almost always it, it isn't normal it's all different right. all right after the break we're going to talk to again Tim and Jenny a little bit about their individual positive results and then as a married couple how it has enhanced their marriage and we'll also tell you about the deal of the day so hang in there with us it's the Tuesday edition of Way 3 Listens Live <laughs> 